Hello, my name's Ian Gabbertes and I hope you enjoyed the last two videos. Thanks for the comments. Someone asked a really good question about why are we introducing ventilation to assist with our firefighting when traditionally we've kept everything closed up. And I hope looking at those videos, uh, you would have seen uh, a big disruption and explosion uh, when everything was closed up. But when we started to open things up, the pressure relief went somewhere else. So the result was an easy way to fight the fire from our perspective. Now ventilation is all part of firefighting tactics and we must remember this is in a shipboard context, shipboard firefighting. Uh, quite often we will keep the place closed up. It reduces the passage of smoke and heat into other areas of the vessel. But at some stage we're going to have to ventilate anyway. So whether that's to assist our firefighting, which we'll touch on in more detail in another episode, or straight after the fire has been knocked down, we need to get rid of some heat and smoke to make it safer for us, then we've got some tactics to use. Natural ventilation is one way, fog stream ventilation or hydraulic ventilation is the other way. And it's much, uh, it's very quick, it's very easy. All you need is an opening to the outside or an opening into uh, somewhere else. We use our spray of water and it basically clears the smoke away. In the video attached to this you will see a jet of water being fired through a small hole, a porthole in our training structure. Once the stream is opened up then we have the passage of lots of water which drags air with it and so long as we've got fresh air coming in from somewhere else basically there'll be a massive uh, changeover of the smoke and heat to fresh, cool, clean air.